deal as we awaited the first championship derby for the year between those two giant landmarks of Melbourne's soccer life. Laurie Schwab looks at how Melbourne prepared for one of its biggest annual soccer rituals. One of soccer's enduring traditions is the local derby. In Italy, it's Inter versus AC Milan. In Greece, Panathinaikos against Olympiakos. In Melbourne, it's South Melbourne Hellas versus Heidelberg Alexander. Whatever the result, one thing's for certain. These games are awaited with bated breath. They are always controversial and often ruthless. This is Lonsdale Street, meeting place of Melbourne's Greek community. The Hellas supporters in the majority here. And if you're a Heidelberg supporter, you keep your mouth shut. Around the corner from Lonsdale Street, we find the office of the Greek newspaper, Neos Cosmos, where sports editor Elias Donouris becomes as immersed as anyone else in the pre-match atmosphere. Glory, as uh, far as I know, the whole Greek community lives at the moment with the favour of that uh, big game on Sunday. Everybody is talking about that game, who is going to win and uh, how many scores uh, Charlie Egan will score or uh, Stuart Stevenson who did very well last uh, Sunday. You're just up from Lonsdale Street here of course, I suppose a lot of talk in the Greek cafes. Yes, and uh, I can say that uh, that part of Lonsdale Street is a uh, South Melbourne uh, supporters part. So you can't find a Heidelberg supporter here, you have to move uh, Where to? to Fitzroy or Heidelberg or Smith Street over there. You can find uh, many shops with uh, Heidelberg supporters there. Just off Lonsdale Street at the Cypriot Community Centre, Chris Christopher, the South Melbourne chairman, was calming his nerves over a game of backgammon. I'm quite confident we're going to win the game. But what of the players? Steve Blair of Hallis and Jeff Olver of Alexander work together at the RACV in Footscray. So has there been an icy atmosphere between them this week? Uh, the atmosphere around this time there is always icy when we're playing Hallis. He uh, is my boss normally during the year, but he really shows his boss this week, giving me extra duties to do, trying to time me out for the weekend. He'll definitely know who the boss is come 5 p.m. on Sunday afternoon, Laurie. Me and Jeff are friends, uh, I've been close friends for a long time, but come this weekend, then uh, we're the best of enemies. Heidelberg had Hallis's measure until 1981, but over the past two years in particular, Hallis, the reigning Australian champions, have turned the tables. Unbeaten by Heidelberg in their last five league games, counting the 1984 Southern Division final, Hallis now boasts seven wins, five draws and only six losses to Heidelberg in 18 games since 1977. Charlie Egan, top scorer in the NSL with nine goals, can preserve that record, providing he isn't sent off again. Me and uh, Charlie Egan, of course, um, we sent off the last two occasions, but uh, there's been nothing sort of violent in the, the past couple of meetings. There's been good soccer, a lot of goals for the fans. And What's it like the uh, playing in those games? Uh, good atmosphere, big crowd? Very good atmosphere there. This, these are the games that everyone looks forward to. You need no motivation for George Christopoulos achieved stardom with Hellas, so why is he now with Heidelberg? One of the main reasons I, I made the switch was that uh, being of Greek descent, I've always attempted to, to belong to a Greek club and Heidelberg seems to have plans and they have so for the last few years where they're trying to get together a lot of the Australian uh, born Greeks and hopefully one day get uh, the majority of the players of Greek descent playing for them. Hellas seems to be doing the opposite over the last few years where they're, they're shunning a lot of the Australian Greek born players and there have been a lot of examples of them over the few years with Salamides, Xanthopoulos, myself, Steve Tassios. Um, their, their plans seem to be different. Laurie Schwab on what the Heidelberg South Melbourne confrontation means to Melbourne and the NSL. And now down to the football in front of, predictably, the biggest crowd so far in the season. At the Olympic Village, it's South Melbourne in first place, meeting Heidelberg in second place with just one point between them. A tremendous crowd here for this uh, big Greek derby. A crowd of about uh, 15,000 it looks like. Certainly one of the best on record between these two clubs. And there comes the South Melbourne Hellas team through the banner. Both teams unchanged for this big match. And the two players to watch, Stuart Stevenson of uh, Heidelberg. He scored six goals so far. And Charlie Egan, top scorer in the National League with nine.
both teams lining up for a guard of honor and the occasion is the appearance of Yanis Kouros the ultra marathon man from Greece who won the Sydney to Melbourne road race and the biggest match of the year is underway will Heidelberg turn the tables they haven't beaten South Melbourne Hellas since 1980 Stevens entangling with Postacoglu McKee Salamides the best chance of the game so far Theo Salamides coming so close McKee the man who crossed it Up. Russell joins in McDowell Oh, just a cross goal. First time on the volley by Gary McDowell. There's the cross and the miss. Kenny Murphy. Holford. Now McDowell. He has a go. Well taken by Olver. Good shot. Gary McDowell. He's more dangerous than uh, any of the strikers on the field. Well taken by Olver, though. McDowell. But uh, the half-time whistle beats Egan. So it's still nil-nil after 45 minutes of play. After the half-time whistle had gone, Laurie, I noticed a Frakow down off the field of play. Exactly what happened at that stage, I don't know. I raced straight in. And at that time, Murphy and Angeli with the two players fighting, I reported to both dressing rooms at half-time that those two players would not be allowed to take the field in the second half. Were they actually fighting, uh, going into the rooms? They were fighting off the side of the field. Once I got there, the fighting stopped. They were dragged away into their respective dressing rooms. So, both teams now down to ten men. Christopoulos finding Stevenson. Stevenson scoots clear, tries one. Lormetz couldn't hold it the first time, but uh, he got it the second time. Brown chasing it to the line, crosses, but too late. And uh, it's a corner. Here comes Brown's corner. Blair is there with a the header, just wide. Steve Blair, second time he's had a go like that. Christopoulos. He's brought down by Crino. Again, no free kick. McDowell. Costa-Coglu. Egan was pushed. Crino coming from behind, winning the ball very nicely. Lobs it in, headed down by Salamides for a shot by Egan. Save. Brown puts it away. Doug Brown, his first field goal of 1985. He's only scored one penalty before today. Charlie Egan had the first shot, but here's Crino lobbing it in. Headed down by Salamini, straight to Egan. Knocked away by the goalkeeper. To Brown, he makes no mistake. And the fireworks going off in the stands. The flags are flying. And the South Melbourne Palace supporters absolutely delighted. Salamides. Patterson knocks it back for support from McKee. Egan with him. Egan grabbed him by the shoulders, but uh, advantage is paid. McKee finds Valentine. Postacoglu. Brown heads it on. Christopoulos. Long one from McKee. And headed away there by Blair. Valentine has it back, and now Christopoulos, first time shot, too high. Off the head of Yankos, straight to Brown. Brown trying a long one. Olver couldn't hold it. McKee's there to help, and Egan wasn't there to follow it in. He usually is. Dougie Brown almost adding a second. Yankos left behind. Takes his shot. Flash has passed. Good try by Dougie Brown. 
certainly got his confidence back. Nice low drive, but wide. And here's a great run by Tarsios inside for Stevenson. He leaves it for Salamides. Salamides with a shot. Just over. It's a corner. The goalkeeper got his hand to it. What a move. Tarsios, number eight. Look at that run. And he beats another one. Brilliant. Slides into the middle, just the right thing to do. Left by Stevenson for Salamides. And Salamides it was uh, with the final shot. Oscar Trino. Still has it under pressure. Charlie Egan. Into the middle for Brown with a header. Right though. Jeez, Brown. He could have had a hat trick in this game. Very close. Banbridge sounds the final whistle. So South Melbourne has triumphed over Heidelberg yet again, 1-0. It's still uh, 1982 since Heidelberg beat Hellas for the, la for the last time. Brown, the goal scorer, being congratulated as he goes off the ground. Scott Pattis, number 11, who tried so hard. So too to Charlie Egan and the fans as usual following the heroes so we leave you with the scenes of jubilation by the Hellas fans the final score South Melbourne Hellas 1 Heidelberg 0 Laurie Schwab reporting from the Olympic Village and as usual the pressure of the derby telling on the players and indeed the scoreline